<laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Hey, I think I get it. Now we're getting somewhere. Any idea what you're doing, Major? Just a sec. Is it really that difficult? <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Nice! Easy. When warmth and beauty mingle, at the path's turn, a carcass lay a sprawl. On a bed of shingle, legs raised like some old poor, <clears throat> far gone in passion. The burning, deadly, poison sweating mass opened its paunch in careless, cynical. Yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts. Hmm. <laughs> 
Charles. So after Dr. Sechenov created the new gamma connectors, he destroyed the old beta connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the beta connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. So where are they now? You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could be on a lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. Tour, didn't you? I did. I never wanted to come here. I wanted to sit on a bench and just die. I know this is stupid, but appreciate the irony. Qualia and I broke up yesterday. His parents were transferred to Sahalin. The real one, not the one in this exhibition. He went with them. He said we wouldn't be together. So I wanted to die. You're not wrong. When you're falling off a bridge, it feels like you can fix anything. Except for the fact you're falling off a bridge. But as I was lying here, I suddenly realized there is no idea stupider than giving up on life because of a boyfriend. It even sounds ridiculous. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. I'll tell the guide I found you. She was... worried. Right. Installing the head. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero, oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thanks. All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence is matched. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Initiated. All employees are to evacuate the complex immediately. Please, comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichayev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3 has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. 
Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, 
I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov! The government commission... they're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the Commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more, but what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left. Help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is... too much. It's too much for all of us. This terrible incident.
was that? A tribute to the departed. Comrade Sechenov! We've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Philatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Philatov's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Charles, what the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelome as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. So, Charles, when Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on an assignment with, say, Stockhausen, he's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination within a facility swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov would never remain unguarded. You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of him and want to get rid of him? It's more likely that they just want power over Collective. If you rule the world, it's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful people. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. I hope you're right. How could that prick Petrov send intel to the West? 
The facility's under lockdown. As you have no doubt already observed, there is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used by Dr. Sechenov to contact the Kremlin. No one else has access to it. Yeah, no one except Granny Zena. So, what's Petrov trying to pull? I believe he is trying to beat the central hub by passing himself off as Dr. Sechenov. That son of a bitch. Charles, is there really a chance Petrov could fool the hub? It wasn't exactly programmed by morons, right? They must have put protections in place. Hacking Collective Central Hub is a very difficult task. Even with the right communication equipment, Petrov will need considerable time to do it. So where can he find that kind of equipment, other than the Science Center? Only aboard the Flying Chelemay Complex. And nowhere else? <laughs> That's great. Your goose is cooked now, Petrov. Traitorous dickhead. Hey, Charles. What does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, Tommy. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect you. So move with caution. Guess we better stay quiet then.
What you staring at? Petrov is somewhere nearby, Comrade Major. Keep it down.
Look what we have here. You killed him! That's enough, Victor! So much death! I just knocked him out! He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the secret troubles, and by opposing him, you know, it's, it's all wrong, it's all wrong! I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand! He ruined everything, and you, you! I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of Sechenov orders him to! Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick. <laughs> And painless. So Sechenov's talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us! <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's not Victor's fault. Huh. It was a local malfunction. A local malfunction? Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? <laughs> Victor, you said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you believed him. What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor. I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. How could you? Huh? How could I? You said it yourself, the whole world might end. No, don't touch me. <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? Hey, Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. P3 to Chelome. Petrov... got away. Again. You seem to enjoy chasing the man, Nechayev. Petrov must not interfere with the launch of Collective. Find the criminal. Now. You have drawn the wizard's ire, Comrade Major. No shit. Get off my grill, will ya? There will soon be so many enemies here, that your demise is inevitable. Ready free, Major? 
<laughs> what, did you not expect to hear from me? Not only can I hear you just fine, I'm gonna see you real soon, too. So get ready, prick. Trust me, the preparations are well underway. There will be surprises, dog. You turned Lisa against me, bitch. She doesn't return my calls. Yeah, you're breaking my heart. I don't give two wet farts about your relationship. Charles, can you trace the call? Where is that shit stain? The signal's coming from the Plisetskaya Theater. A theater? Right here in the facility? <laughs> what a clown. It's a theater, comrade major, not a circus. Marking the waypoint. Whatever. I won't let that traitor get away from me again. Listen, Major, it, it, it's not too late. We may strike a deal yet. I don't make deals with traitors to the motherland. You murdered thousands of people. But I tried to derail the Atomic Heart Project. You know how much blood will be spilled once it's complete. You must reconsider, or millions of innocent people will die. What the fuck is an Atomic Heart? I have no idea what you're rambling on about. <laughs> what? Did the Master not bother explaining the plan to his attack dog? Do they not trust you, Major? Oh, I am surprised. This means you may not be a lost cause just yet. Really? Today's my lucky day. So what are you going to tell me, traitor? I'm going to tell you Sechnoff wants to turn all mankind into puppets. And he won't hesitate to expend millions of lives to achieve that goal. That's why he's flooding the world with his robots. <laughs> you are one sick motherfucker. Are you gonna keep slamming the phone at me like a capricious schoolgirl, Major? How about hearing me out? Fine. We need testimony for your trial anyway. It really is simple, Major. Four years ago in 1951, they launched an ambitious project called Energy for Everyone in the U.S. Every school kid is aware of this. This is something even you should know. Yeah, yeah, even me. American capitalists built 50 nuclear power plants all over their country just to get even fatter by selling electricity to the working class. And their workers can barely make ends meet as it is because of crushing poverty and massive unemployment. Because Sechnov's robots put them out of the job. Uh, robots are cheaper than living workers, which is why capitalists are showing people the door. Oh yeah, and Sechenov's to blame, right? Our robots built them 50 nuclear plants in just four years. Humans could never have pulled that off. You're one sick bastard, Petrov, trying to play for time like this. You never wondered why Sechenov is spreading his robots all over the world, did you, Major? <clears throat> Are you even capable of independent thought? Of course not. Thinking is hard. And you're the only one in the whole world who can do it, right? Now would be a good time to start, Major. The USSR is giving away its robots for free as humanitarian aid. But manufacturing robots is not cheap, and the USSR expends vast quantities of raw materials, energy, and industrial capacity to build them. Because Comrade Sechenov wants to make life easier for everyone. He doesn't care about money. Robots should toil in mines and factories, and people should tell them what to do. I'm talking about real people, not sick fucks like you. the wrong decision, Major. Don't touch me. It was the right one, traitor. You'll pay for everyone you murdered. Oh, you primitive imbecile! Idiot! <clears throat> it is you who will kill the Astrologers them. announced a week of atomic hunt. The number of enemies has doubled.
Receiving data. Please select the desired procedure. Authorization, Major Nichayev. Protected by the enemy. More robots will arrive shortly. <laughs> ah, crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forester Village. You're now fully armed, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the Beliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. I can't wait to pay that thing back with interest.
Charles, can you track Petrov's whereabouts? Unfortunately, no. Petrov is no longer broadcasting. I will track him as soon as he does. Gotcha. That means he won't do it again. That dirty, rotten scumfuck is hiding away in some dark corner and he's gonna sit there and hope the robots kill me before I find him. I ought to warn you that Petrov knows this theater quite well. He has good reason to hope for such an outcome. Hope is dangerous. It'll lull him into a false sense of security. Give me intel on the theater. The Maya Plisetskaya Theater was founded at the facility in 1948. It was the first theater in the world to use robots as performers. It is the most famous theater in the Soviet Union, so tickets can be quite hard to come by. So it's for the rich and powerful. You have no idea. Before the theater was fully roboticized, party members would order the best ballerinas in the Soviet Union to be transferred here. But after the performers were replaced with robots, it became so successful, it's now easier to get an apartment near the Kremlin than it is to attend a performance here. Can you tell me anything more useful and less disgusting? As part of the facility, the theater is without a doubt a scientific establishment. Its artistic vein is melded with commerce, as is the study of robot behavior and human reactions to it. I have no combat-related data. Let's go see what's what. Fading data. Authorization. Major Nichaya. Your cue, Comrade Major! Are you here to finish me off, dog? Then come on down! I am all yours! You're like a dog. Your master sticks you on someone and you go right for the throat. <laughs> Just do me a favor. And do it. Charles, what is that? Ooh, that what, floor what, is electrified. What, it's a trap. Son of a bitch! I'm still gonna get you! Hang on, Comrade Major. I'll try to reduce the charge. I don't care if I got a crawl. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. I've reduced the charge. Are you okay, Comrade Major? Had worse. Much worse. He's not getting away from me. so long. 
That gearhead. Will it be major? 